Awesome. We will give everyone a few minutes to hop on. Welcome, welcome. Everyone's gearing up for a good holiday season, getting excited. All right, we'll give everyone about 30 more seconds and then we'll start uh, diving into today's topic. I'll go ahead and start sharing my screen. Um, awesome. Well, thank you for joining Ambition Office Hours, uh, November 2021 edition. Uh, super excited to dive into a pretty fun topic today. Um, just as a reminder, what is Office Hours? This is a session for you to learn about ambition best practices, industry trends, insights, and answer any of your questions. Um, Office Hours is open to anyone who wants to learn more about these topics um, or ambition in general. And we have Office Hours on the third Thursday of every month at 11 Central, 12 Eastern. Um, so just as a reminder, if you guys have questions or anything, feel free to throw them in the chat. The Q&A, we'll be monitoring it. It can be relevant to the topic that we're discussing today or completely unrelated. Anything else that you want to talk about today, we are here for that. Um, so our topic today is all about hitting your 2021 goals. We're at the end uh, stretch of this crazy year. Um, and so we just want to talk a couple tactics that you guys can use to continue to fire up your team, um, get people motivated, get people across the finish line. Um, so I am Emma Hamilton. I'm a customer success manager here at Ambition. Um, and I've got uh, Chad with me. Chad, if you want to introduce yourself real quick. Let's go, guys. I <clears throat> work on the enterprise customer success team alongside Emma. Awesome. Awesome. We will dive into it. Um, so a little brief agenda of what we've got today, again, kind of like five quick and easy how to keep your team motivated over uh, the next two-ish months. So the first thing we have is a holiday themed competition. Um, so I think people are constantly like getting so busy during this time of year. It might be, um, you know, a time where do, running a competition, running a spiff might take a back burner place just because you're so busy, you're focused on hitting your goals. But I really wanna encourage people to not let that happen. This is an optimum time to really motivate and tap into your team. Um, because everyone can get, you know, stressed, overwhelmed, focused on a lot of different things, but you want to make sure you're still putting um, tools in place that will help drive your team's performance through the entire year. Um, so kind of leaning into like anything fun with the holidays. Uh, I've got like a sample, um, you know, December holiday-ish uh, holiday movie uh, themed competition here. Um, Chad, any Anything from you on like what you've seen competition wise be fun during the holiday season? Yeah, I think, uh, I think, you know, we see a lot of theme competitions. We get these like, you know, as we approach the kind of like traditional fall holidays, we'll get Halloween competitions that will segue into Thanksgiving themed competitions that segue into you know, end of the year competition. So uh, really, I think it's about finding what resonates the best with your team. Um, you know, we've got a, we've got a really spirited team at Ambition, so we could probably have a good, uh, back and forth competition on whether or not you should decorate before Thanksgiving or not. That could be a, a really spirited conversation within our group. But um, on the customer side front on ambition, uh, you know, like I said, I think it's really about, you know, aligning to what gets the most and then thinking through some unique incentives, right? So, um, you know, I think one of the things we always preach is that ambition competitions don't have to have, you know, incentives or dollars budgeted for them. But I think an important part is, especially this time of year, and we'll talk a little bit when we get to like giving back as well. I think that'll be an idea. But thinking through creative ways that might resonate with your reps, you know, at this time of year it might be, maybe it's time off that it would be the, the right incentive for them instead of money, but maybe it's, you know, for uh, the struggling dad trying to figure out what he wants to get his kids. Maybe it's a gift card that resonates with him that he can go buy that PS five game or something that is his kids looking for. So I think it's really about just trying to say like alignment on what themes will get your, your, your team the most fired up. And then, really trying to figure out what those really powerful incentives might be, especially given this time of the year. I love that. Um, yeah, definitely continue to hype your team up here at the end of the year. Let's not get so sidetracked with just like hitting our goals, getting to the end of the year. Let's, you know, make the most of every moment, unlock, still, still unlock potential. Um, 
and hopefully just completely blow our goals out of the water. Um, another fun idea you can do here at the end of the year to really celebrate and recognize everything that's already happened this year and maybe give some additional shout outs would be an end of the year award ceremony. Um, so you can do this with your team, maybe as like a conjunction with like your team virtual holiday, end of the year wrap up party, whatever you guys might do. Um, but you could really lean into the ambition accolades to help you kind of recap the year, say, okay, what did happen? Um, I have a couple examples here with um, going over like the team MVP. You'll be able to note who earned it more than once. Will was team MVP twice. And so this is kind of a really easy way for you guys as leaders to go back and recap everything um, and just highlight all of that hard work. Um, maybe some transitions to new roles. We've got Wes here moving up to the next level of being a BDR and want to make sure that's always highlighted. And then I also have an example here of, a, of an accolade that you could um, give out in ambition, maybe even during that holiday party or end of the year wrap uh, meeting where you could say, okay, looking back at the competitions this year, Alex won the majority or the most competitions out of everyone. We want to give Alex the competitions beast award. Um, but just continuing to like at the end of the year, looking back, reflecting on everyone's hard work um, makes people feel good and gets people pumped up and motivated for the next year. Um, Chad, anything to add here? Any other like cool awards ideas? So I've seen it. I think the important thing here, Emma, with accolades is always to align right on the right mix between metric based accolades and both manager discretion, especially this time of year. You know, everything your reps are doing on a daily basis, especially if they're in ambition, is going to be KPI measured and uh, backed and things like that. But um, I think it's right at the right time of the year to think back on to Emma's point, like, what are some things you can just call out and recognize your team members for? They don't have to be KPI backed. It can be things like, you know, something we use in ambition a lot is the extra grid award. You know, how do you, you know, if I'm, if, if my boss Kelly sees me online at midnight talking to a customer in Australia, nine times out of 10, I'm going to wake up the next morning with that extra grid award. Say, hey, I see the hustle. I appreciate you being online late working with that group. Um, so thinking through that right mix, you know, I see we got Doug on the call right now from, from waste management, you know, Doug thinking through uh, being able to do Doug's club of excellence, Sylvana's club of excellence, you know, the, the uh, MVP for your team for the year, it can be both, you know, metric based and also like who was the, the best team member for the year? Who was the guy that or the guy or lady that went out and supported others or helped onboard new hires, you know, took on extra, you know, find those, those things and then find funny things too, just to mix it up, you know, like, there's a, there's a great opportunity here to have almost to Emma's point, like we were talking through this, to have that award show feel. So think through the right funny, fun, rewarding superlatives you can come up with. Build those out and let your teams feel seen and recognized. For sure. I love it. Next thing that we have here is a mental health check-in. So holidays are a hard time for people. Um, it can be stressful. It can be overwhelming, you know. Um, it also can be challenging for, you know, in your work life as well, end of the year can be, you know, you're trying to hit those goals, you've got everything kind of coming down to the wire here, and it can be hard. And so I just want to encourage you guys as leaders to, if you're doing one-on-one um, -on -one meetings with your reps every week, um, don't forget to ask how they're doing, check in on their mental health, uh, because that can impact their work as well. Just even a simple, like, how are you doing this week? How can I help you? Um, and keep a, keep a pulse check on that because if we're, you know, if your reps aren't doing well mentally and they're going through a hard time, they're probably not going to perform well. And you want to make sure that everyone is, you know, in their best place now at the end of the year, and especially going into a brand new year, um, in a few months, but, um, just wanted to call that out. It's a good time to make sure that you're checking in on those things with your reps. Um, it could even be a good time in addition to questions like these to, you know, start doing some future planning. We've got like new year, new me coming up. Maybe start talking about what are those career goals you're going to have for 2022 so that you as a leader can start formulating, okay, what's that path to get this rep there? Um, let me, you know, let me start working on that. So in January, 22, you uh, have that and you can, you know, start working with the rep to get them to where they want to go career-wise. Um, anything to add here, Chad? No, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think that call out you've got there around like something as simple as even I think on our team, Emma, you know, the first two questions we have on our group uh, that came out of, you know, COVID and us all sort of being remote and dealing with that shift was, you know, uh, our boss Kelly reach, reach, retooled our coaching programs. And one of the things that she did was, Every week when, when Emma and I are being coached now, the first thing we answer are, 
how are you feeling about work this week and how are you feeling about life outside of work? And we spend a decent amount of time talking with Kelly about that on our check-ins. Like she genuinely wants to know how life is going, whether it's work related or whether it's personal. And that really helps humanize the coaching process and make it, you know, more than just uh, another check in the box of, you know, a busy day where we're talking about KPIs and all that stuff all day long. So I think it has a, re- a lot of legs to think through how you could personalize and humanize your your coaching check-ins and make your reps kind of feel seen outside of the context of their day-to-day. Absolutely. Love it. All right. Next thing you can do to continue to push your teams here at the end of the year is create stretch goals. So if you have any team members or even like your team as a whole, if they've already hit their 2021 or their Q4 goals, go in there and create a stretch goal for them. We don't want anyone to be complacent and where they're at at the year. We still got a lot of headway and you want to um, give them something to continue to work for. Even if it is, even if the incentive is just bragging rights of doing an incredible job, hitting those stretch goals, that's going to be a lot to motivate people. Um, So want to encourage people and remind people that, you know, we don't have to just sit at a hundred percent. Let's aim for even higher and beyond that. Um, so that we can, you know, look back on 2021 and be just incredibly proud of everything that we were able to do. Um, So yeah, super easy to do that in our goal section. Anything to add here, Chad? I don't think so. I think, like I said, goals are a great way to... uh to kind of close that gap at the end of the year, you know, we got, it's, it's a short time frame, but maybe you could come up with, maybe if it's uh, too far outside your stretch, let's come up with some, some step level goals to get there along the way. Uh, but I think this is a great opportunity to sort of finish strong and, and, and hit, and do as much as you can to get as close to those numbers or uh, continue to exceed those numbers you have as well. Totally. Awesome. And then the last thing that we have as something that you can do to help motivate your team, and this ties back to competitions or, you know, accolades, awards that you can give people is to give back. Use this as an opportunity to tap into your philanthropic side um, and maybe instead of an incentive for, you know, your reps to get a gift card, maybe the incentive is a, you know, a donation to their nonprofit of choice. Um, and I think by, you know, doing that, it's awesome at the holiday time, but then also kind of putting that in your reps court to choose like the nonprofit they're playing for, that's going to help motivate and drive them. Um, and so it's just kind of a new, a interesting take on incentives. Um, and we've even done it here at Ambition and it's definitely a motivator and is exciting. You get to like feel good all the way around. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to drop that kind of creative competition idea or incentive idea. Chad, if you uh, were playing for a nonprofit, who would you play for? Uh, probably the MS Foundation uh, with Brittany. My wife has, has MS, so I'd probably do something there along with MS Research, things like that. I love that. Make it so personal. And then you can, you know, use this as an opportunity to perform well and then give back. I love it. Absolutely. Cool. Well, awesome, guys. That is our kind of five um, ways that you can continue to motivate your teams here at the in- final stretch of the year. Um, who has questions? Who has maybe some cool um, initiatives running right now that may, may be Thanksgiving themed or just holiday themed in general or end of the year push? Um, love to uh, hear any of that in the chat or the Q&A. And uh, share those with the rest of the um, the viewers joining today. I had a customer recently, um, I guess they're doing it right now. They recently spun up their like November competition and themed it like the turkey trot. <laughs> so it's like getting them like, you know, continuing to like focus on the right things and push across the finish line before Thanksgiving. I feel like everyone's taking off, you know, PTO and, you know, spending time with family, which is great. But how do we, when people are in the office, how do we get the most out of it? Um, So I thought that was a really funny idea. That was a good one. Yeah. Cool, cool. Anyone have any questions uh, not related to this topic? Anything just ambition in general that we can answer or help out with today? Awesome, everyone's a bunch of pros on this call, I love it. 
Great. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, we appreciate you guys joining. There will, of course, be a recap blog post um, on this topic, and you'll be able to access the recording um, shortly after. Um, but if you ever have any questions about this or anything else ambition related, please feel free to reach out to your CSM or to our support team. We are here to help. Um, and then we will see you in December for office hours on incorporating ambition, gamification, and coaching into your 2022 sales kickoff. So we are looking forward to chatting with you guys about that then, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great Thanksgiving. Take care. Bye, Chad.